Hi hey, Tom, good you? to see you. Nice to meet you. So we're doing um, this new video series called Man Eater, right, where cool. I come in, try food from different places, mm -hmm. have your barbecue, it's banging, but haven't tried everything, so right. just let me know what you would recommend to try today. Uh, today, brisket's looking really good. Okay. So one of those cool. up. Uh, pulled pork came out great, mac and cheese is awesome, and baked beans. Yes, How's that? yes, Sound good? all of that. I'm, okay. I'm awesome. borderline hangry right now. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. I've never done that before. <laughs> Ready to dig in? Oh my god. Yep. Yes. Hello. So we've food. got a couple different things. We have Texas Joe, which is our shredded brisket with our homemade uh, sloppy Joe sauce, okay. bacon baked beans, mac and cheese, and okay. our Texas style brisket. Oh my god. I mean, we give you sauce with it, but definitely not maybe. Do you make the sauce? We do. Everything here is made okay. uh, daily. This. And you have just one type of sauce. It's like a bar your I secret mean, barbecue sauce? Texas barbecue is not really about the sauce like okay. you see in like, the Midwest or yeah. Carolinas. It's, like, it's all about the dry rub, yeah. but we do offer it. So it's a bourbon brown sugar uh, barbecue sauce. When did you first have barbecue? <laughs> the first time I had Texas barbecue was okay. back in 2015 when I was out there for a convention. And uh, walked out to this place, and first thing I said was, What's that smell? Yeah. And uh, they're like, This is Texas barbecue. So I'm like, What's the difference? And they're like, You'll see. You know, when you think barbecue, you think of, you know, wings, ribs, you know, real sloppy yeah. sauces. And sure. that's not beer friendly, so that's why I never really yeah. got into it. Okay. And then I went uh, up to the counter, and I'm like, So what do I get? You know, I mean, turkey. It's like turkey. Well, like you came to this barbecue with turkey. So hey, like, the guy that. made me a, a nice three meat platter. Um, I had the West Texas spring corn, brisket, and, and the turkey, and uh, it was probably the best food I ever had in my life. And it just so happened that like I went to a seminar right before that that talked about like what's your end game and like. What's your future look like? And I'm like, this is what I have to learn. Back in my, in my previous life in real estate, they were based out of Austin. So whenever I had to go there, okay. I always stayed two or three days later and you would, like, on my own. And you would learn from different yep. places? Yep. So did they just like let you intern? Like, with, no. Oh, you, you know, just like went and chat, like, chatted with them? Yep. Barbecue community is, is like a brotherhood. And like they're so open with their information and very helpful. And to this day, I still talk to a lot of the same guys who I leaned on a lot when we opened up this place. and. Sure. Yeah, you know, they've been great. They've been great. So I'm very fortunate. I'm do for a trip back. You probably have like a background in cooking something. Yeah. Like you yeah. probably can't just be like, I'm gonna be a pit master and talk to all these people and do it. Like yeah. You probably I have mean, some background. My, my family's all restaurants. Okay. While I was in real estate, I was still involved in the restaurant business. Okay. And I started at the age of like 12. You know what I mean? So, so, okay. so it, it's in my blood. Meat do you cook every night? Uh, it ranges depending on the day. I mean, okay. we, we, you know, we're a pit to plate restaurant. Yeah. Meaning we don't reheat the stuff. Yeah, so. like once you're done, you're done. Once we're done, we're done. Like I was so. like, fingers crossed that the food's yeah. not sold out today. Cool. And then I saw next door you're opening a market. Yeah. I call it like a Whole Foods meets Wawa's mm. type of thing. That sounds good. Okay. And there's, there's, there's a very big need for it here. Absolutely. Um, and we'll have you know, a lot of grab and go foods. There's just a need for like real food. Uh, yeah, it's definitely real I food. Think. It's yeah, real it's food. It's real food. Yeah. I love it. Where can people find you? Like Instagram? Oh, Instagram. Just, like, I mean, yeah. Obviously, they can come in. They Instagram's, should come in yeah. because. Instagram's Holy Q Smokes. Uh huh. Uh, Facebook is Holy Q Smokehouse. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, wow. you know, social media has been a big part yeah. of our success. Sure. It's amazing how Instagram has played a, you know, played a huge part in this. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're doing more things, different outreach types, of, you know, cool. campaigns and everything else, but I'm here a lot. Thank you so much for sitting down with me. Enjoy. I'm going to keep eating. I yeah. don't want to take up any more of your time, though. No, no, you're I good. I really Enjoy. appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You.